you. Hallelujah. Oh God, I thank you, Jesus. Hashata. Oh God, I thank you that there is none like you, Father. Hashata. Oh God, I thank you, Father. Lord, I thank you for this anointing, Jesus. Oh God, I thank you for the Holy Spirit, God. That lead and guide me, Jesus. Oh God, I just thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Oh God, I adore you, Jesus. Father, I reverence you, God. Oh God, I magnify you. God, I bless your holy name. God, you said if I don't praise you, the rocks will praise you. Hashata. But God, I'm going to praise you in the midst of it all. Oh, God. No matter what it look like, God. Hashata. Your praises and your blessings will always continually be in my mouth. Oh, God. Huh. I magnify you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I magnify you right now, Jesus. Oh, God. I magnify you right now, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God. I thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. I pray right now, God. Oh, God, if there's anything in me, Father, that will hinder me, God, for bringing your word forth, oh, God, I bind it, I rebuke it, and I cast it back to the pits of hell right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, God, if there's any covenant, Father, that I have made with the enemy, Lord, normally or unknowingly, God, huh, I break that covenant right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, God, because my covenant, Lord God, is with you, Jesus, ha, the almighty one, oh God, ha, 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 oh El Shaddai, ha, 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 Jehovah Jireh, ha, 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 Jehovah Rapha, ha, 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 Jehovah Shalom, ha, 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 oh Lord, my covenant is with you, Jesus, oh God, oh God, I just thank you, Lord God. Oh, God, I pray right now in the name of Jesus, oh, God, that this flesh will stand down, oh, God, and that the Holy Spirit will raise up and speak to your spirit, your people, God. Huh? Speak to your people right now, right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I said speak to your people right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, God. And I pray that this word will touch and reach whom it need to reach in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, God. Have your way, Jesus. Have your way, God. And I call the consuming fire down. God, to consume up the enemy, God. Anything that may get in the way of me bringing this word forth, oh God, I pray that it will be consumed in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Oh God, you say we have not, God. Because we ask not, God. Oh, God, what I'm asking you right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh, God, to move on the behalf of your people, God. Huh. For the Lord God is my son and my shield. Huh. The Lord gives grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly, oh, God. Oh, God, I just thank you, God, right now, Jesus. Oh, shout out. Oh, God, I just thank you, God. Hallelujah. That weeping men do it for a night, huh, shout out. But weep, but joy cometh in the morning like, oh, God. Some of us been crying for so long, huh? But I'm here to tell you today, but joy is coming in the morning light. Joy is coming in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Help me, Holy Spirit, to deliver this message, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. God, I thank you. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, amen. Oh, Jesus, I have a word, a prophetic word for somebody. Mm. And I know that this word is going to apply to more than one person. Lord, let it reach whom it need to reach in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. I pray that you guys will take this word to God in prayer. Ask the Lord, Lord, are you speaking to me? Lord, is this me? Is it me, oh Lord, that you're speaking to, Father? If it is, show me, Lord. Show me, Father. I want to share a dream. This is a prophetic dream that the Lord gave me a few days ago. And I have been praying on this, praying on this about bringing this message forth. Lord, how do you want me to bring this message forth? And I wouldn't touch it until this morning. The Holy Spirit began to really speak in my spirit about this prophetic dream that I'm about to share with you guys. OK. This dream that I had looked like I was just in this unfamiliar place and one person I recognize. OK. Uh, associate that I, I know okay this person was just having a good time they were just partying having a good time and they dropped something and I was like you dropped something and they just kept on doing they didn't even pay no attention okay they knew they dropped it you know because they looked at it but they kept on dancing and having a good time so when I look I, I picked it up off the ground it was a, a, a gold gold chain that I had that belonged to me a few years ago, okay, this chain was just beautiful, 
Okay, I was blessed with this chain. Okay, and um, I remember when I was blessed blessed with this chain, I was around eight months pregnant with my daughter. She about twenty two now. Okay, I was blessed with this chain. The 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 jewelry place where I was at. You know, I was trying to do a trade off and I asked how much money I would need to get this chain. This was some years ago, guys. And when she told me, I mean, my chain couldn't even cover a portion of what that chain was worth. It was just beautiful, a gold chain. So I stood there at the jury counter and I remember, and this was in real life now, adoring this, this, this chain, right? Just looking at this chain and just wishing I had the money to be able to purchase this chain. And while I was sitting there, I saw the, the jury owner. She reached in the, the, the counter and she took it and she started packing it up and she just like threw it on the counter to me. So I looked. She said, it's yours. Ha, shata. I was blessed with this chain. This chain was worth a lot of money, guys. OK, it was gold. Anyway, in his dream, I asked her, I said, um, you, you dropped this, your chain. I say this used to be my chain. I said, if you don't mind me asking, how much did you pay for this chain? And she said, oh, I ain't paid nothing but $100. And I said, $100? You know, because I'm thinking to myself, this, they, they, I told her, I said, they gave it to you. And I'm thinking to myself, this chain is way, worth way more than this. You know, it's, it's worth way more than this. It's like she didn't value it. Like she didn't even care. And I was trying to explain to her how valuable this chain was, but it's like she wasn't receiving it. Oh, I'm speaking to somebody today. She was not receiving what I was telling her about this this chain, how valuable it was, okay? What God put in my spirit. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know who you are, mm, but this was laying in my spirit. This was laying in this, my spirit. I could have brought any message but this one, okay? But the Holy Spirit put in my spirit to bring this message forward, okay? You, this, this person don't even value you. They don't even see your worth, mm. but you, 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 you love them so much. Help me, Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy Spirit. You call me to this. Help me, Jesus. Deliver this message. Okay. They don't even see your worth. Mm. It's, it's like they, 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 they overlooking you. They dismissing you. They don't hear nothing you saying. It's like you, you killing yourself to, to please this person. But they don't see the value, the worth in you. It's like they can't see it. But you're trying your hard to get them to love you. You're doing in and everything to get them to love you. Mm, 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 mm. I just want to ask you a, a, a question. Mm. Do that shoe fit that you're trying to fit into? Or are you trying to make this shoe fit your foot? Why are you trying to make them fit on your feet? They just shoe. It, it, it's like you're trying to make it fit, but it don't fit. Mm. I'm speaking to somebody right now. You're doing everything. It's like they see the they, this person that you're trying to please. It's like they don't see your value, but they see the value in everybody else that's not paying them attention. Ha shata. I'm speaking to somebody right now. Uh huh. Like they 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 looking at everybody else. They don't see you. You you doing it all. You almost playing a wife at this point, trying to get them to see that you are wife material, that you are worthy to have a ring. Mm. I'm speaking to somebody right now. Mm, 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 mm. I want to share something with you. Okay. And I'm sharing this because I pray that this will help somebody to heal and to let go and let God. Because mm. I just see you, you praying for God to send them back. You believe that they're the one you praying for God to, to send them back. But you're not praying God will to be done. Hashata. Like I say, this message is not for everybody. Whoever you are, you're not praying. You want what you want. Mm -hmm. See, I've been where you are, okay, in that place where praying for what I wanted. It was never about what God want for me. I never asked God until, you know, I my, my relationship grew with him. Lord, what is it you want for my life? What is your will for my life, God? What is it, Jesus? What you calling me into? But you, okay, I, I've been where you are, okay? It's like you're trying to please this person. They don't see you. They're in and out your life. They come and they go. Uh -huh, I've been there too. They disappear. You don't know where they at. They're accusing you of other people because they know they're doing things that they don't have any business doing. Oh, I'm speaking to somebody right now. Mm -hmm. They don't see your worth. Mm -hmm. But you still, you're trying to get into this shoe. You're going to make this shoe fit. 
Uh huh. This is almost like the guy you you don't. He got all the outer appearance, but his heart is not in the right place. Ha shata. I'm speaking to somebody, and he cannot see your worth. And, 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 and God is allowing that to happen for a reason because where God is getting ready to take you at, he cannot go. I remember, okay, and this wasn't no dream. This was real. You know, I was, I was, I was engaged and I was about to get married. I've been married 2000 and November of 2016. And the Holy Spirit had instructed me to let it go. So I called everything off and it hurted me. I cried for a long time. I would go to work. At the time I was working at dealers, I would go to work and I would be all dressed up and looking good on the outside. And I was hurt. I feel like my heart was shattered in pieces. Oh, because this is what I wanted. Oh, I wanted this. Oh, I wanted to see I had let go physically, but my heart hadn't let go. Oh, help me, Holy Spirit. My heart was still holding on. Mm. And while my heart was still holding on. You know, they was going on about their business. I was praying that things would just kind of like turn around. Because I didn't want to let go. I wanted to hold on to what wasn't for me. That wasn't what God had for me. And I remember one day I was packing up. I was getting ready to move. And my daughter was with me. We came across uh, the marriage license that we had applied for. And I remember looking at that marriage license, just sitting up there. And I just got so sad. And my daughter said, give me that, mama. She tried to snatch it. And I snatched it back. And she said, let me tear that up, mama. She said, that's the thing of the past. You got to let it go. You still holding on. I still wouldn't let it go. Okay. I took that marriage license with me out of town. I want y'all to hear what I'm saying. You know, my, I had let go physically, but my heart, I'm speaking to somebody right now. You let go physically, but your heart is still holding on. You know, this ain't right. You know, they ain't treating you right, but your heart is still holding on. Help me. Holy spirit. When I got to where I was going, Couple of months went by and I started praying and the Holy Spirit brought that before me. He said, you got to let it go. And I remember pulling that paper out of my file cabinet, that marriage license, and I tore it up in pieces. I tore it up in pieces. And can I tell you, when I went to lay before God in prayer, that the Holy Spirit gave me the strength to go forward and not look back because my heart was ready. I was, I was ready. My spirit was ready to move forward. OK, I no longer desire to hold on to that of the past. I'm speaking to somebody right now. You got to let it go in order to be able to get the right shoe size that fit your foot. Mm -hmm. I'm speaking to somebody. Somebody got on the wrong bus. You got to get off that bus in the name of Jesus. Oh, yeah, I'm speaking to you right now. Uh -huh, you're on the wrong bus and you just riding in the ride. The road, the road has the ride has been bumpy for you. Mm -hmm. You're feeling all the humps and bumps. It's, it's bumpy. The Holy Spirit is calling you right now today to get off that bus. You're on the wrong bus. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this word is not going to apply to everybody. Okay? Take it to God in prayer. Okay? Take it God, to God in prayer. But this word, I am comforted in my spirit. Okay? That this word is for somebody. Whoever you are, you holding on to something that belongs to somebody else. Mm. I remember my daughter telling me, she said, mama, you holding on to somebody else's husband. Do you want to hold on? Do you want to hold on and be in the way of somebody else's blessing? She said, God got something else for you. Mm. And I felt that thing deep down in my spirit when she said that. I felt it. I felt it. You see, because where God was getting ready to take me, I didn't know. I had not no clue that what God was getting ready to do in my life. He couldn't go. And now that I look back over my life, I wouldn't even have the mindset. To do what I'm doing today because of the lifestyle I was living with him. Okay. That would have been in a way. And God wasn't going to allow that to be in a way. And the Holy Spirit would not let me rest. Hear what I'm saying until I let that go. Okay. It didn't have to be another man. You know, it, it didn't have to be nobody else. The only man that I had in my life was Jesus. When I let that go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Jesus. When I let that go and I began to just pull on God and lean on him and desire more of him. OK, what God has for you. OK, I'm speaking to somebody. It's worth waiting for. Mm, you afraid if you let go that you may not never get the opportunity or chance to 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 have a, a, a man. OK, you don't want any man. You want the man that God has for you. I want you to hear me right now. I'm speaking to somebody. This thing going to resonate deep down in your spirit. Uh-huh. 
You only want what God has for you. Because see, other than that, they're not going to even value. Okay? Like, like in that dream, I was valuing that chain. But she had no value. She didn't even know the word. She couldn't see the word. I'm speaking to somebody. They not going to be able to see your worth unless they from God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. They are not going to be able to see your worth. But the man that or the woman that God has for you will be able to see your worth. Hallelujah. You won't have to do a thing, but just be you and continue to praise and chase God. And let me tell you, the blessings of God will chase you down. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I know that what God has for me is worth waiting for and it's worth me saving myself for. Hear me. OK, in order to get what God has for you, you got to let go that you holding on to too. OK, I'm speaking to somebody you holding on to. And you know, this ride has been bumpy. They, they in and out your life. They back and forth. OK, and then and, and, and you pray for them to come back. It's OK to pray and tell God what you want and what you desire. But at the end of that prayer, of every prayer should always be, Lord, whatever your will is, Father, let your will be done. See, I'm always ready for the shift. Uh-huh. Whatever God desires for my life, I'd be in a car waiting, in my spiritual car waiting to drive, re ready to go wherever God want me to go, ready to speak whatever God want me to speak. Uh-huh. That's where you got to be with God. You got to be willing to walk away from some things and let some things go. God, God is moving things out of your life for a reason. Okay. It is for a reason. This it is no accident. God don't make, it's, it's no accident. He don't make mistakes. I want you to hear me because this word is for somebody. The man or the woman, okay, that God has for you, okay, is going to value you. It's going to be able to see your words without you having to do anything. You won't have to compromise your relationship with God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for that. You won't have to compromise your relationship with God. You won't have to be laying up and doing things you ain't got no business doing. Okay? In the name of Jesus. Okay? You won't have to do that. Okay? To please them. Because your aim and their aim should be to please the almighty God. OK, and if they're if they are the one for you, they're not going to make you compromise your your compromise your relationship with God and have you laying up. Hear what I'm saying? I'm speaking to somebody. Oh, yeah, I'm speaking. And I got this scripture. I just love this scripture. Oh, I love this scripture. And this scripture is coming from first John two nineteen. Oh, I love this scripture. OK, I love it. This is, this is one of the scriptures that got me through. OK, they went out from us. But they were not of us. For if they had been of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. But they went out that they might be made manifest that they were not all of us. See, they was able to leave you because they destiny wasn't tied to you. They destiny wasn't tied to you. Okay? They are not for you. When it's easy for somebody to walk out your life and not look back. Okay? They are not for you. Be able to let it go. Cry. Clean your face up. Get yourself together. And move on in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm speaking to somebody right now. Uh-huh. Oh, we ain't going to sit around and be crying over spilled milk. That's spilled milk. Okay, you can't take that spilled milk and put it back in the cup. It's, it's wasted already. It it's no good. It's time to move on. It's time to let go and let God. Okay? Some some of them may return back. Some of them may, that left may be from God. Maybe God had to separate you guys in order to do what he needed to do, do for both of you all. But I know this. I wouldn't be waiting. I'll be chasing God down and doing what he want me to do. If it return, it return. And if it don't, it don't. Okay? Because you, you're going to have your focus and your eyes on God. And you're going to be worshiping and you're going to be praising God. You're going to be seeking God and chasing God down. Asking God, what is it, Lord, you want me to do? In the meantime, what is it you want me to do, Father? Get me right. Prepare me for that of what you have for me, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, yeah. The Lord got some great things in store for you, but he can't give it to you if you're holding on to the things of the past. Some of you are really holding on to I'm talking about holding on. I ain't talking to, like I say, this message is not going to be for everybody. But some of you are really holding on tight to, to some of these people that done went on with their life and done got other relationships. They done moved on. OK, they done moved on. It is time to let go and let God. It's time to trust God. And just start praying your prayers. Just shift them prayers around. Tell, of course, tell God what you desire. 
OK, he said um, he said, if you delight yourself in him, he will give you the desires in, of, of your heart. But guess what? The closer you get to God, the more some of them desires are going to start to change. You're going to be desiring more of God. Lord, I desire more of you, Lord. OK, what is it you want for my life? You're no longer going to be looking with the, the fleshly eyes. It's going to be with the spiritual eyes. OK, you're going to be able to see a good looking man and still look beyond that. OK, and, and look at him spiritually. And say, Lord, is this for me? No matter what he got going, you're going to be able to go deeper than that. Okay? Because we need more than the outside, guys, to get us to where God needs us to be. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got to stop settling for in and everything and just settle in Jesus. And, 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 and ask God what it is. Lord, is this from you, Father? Is this you? And be waiting. If he tell you no, to cut it off and, and, and keep it moving. You got to be ready. See, it's because I'll be ready. Okay, Lord, if this is not for you, God, you show me, you confirm that, and I'm moving on in the mighty name of Jesus, because guess what? I don't want nothing that I'm not supposed to have. And you know what, guys? Me being in that relationship, it let me see. I don't even regret it, because it let me see what I want and what I don't want. Uh-huh. It let me see what I need and what I don't need. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm speaking to somebody right now. Okay, don't even regret it. Just thank God for it. Because that pain and that affliction is going to be a blessing to you in the long run. Hallelujah. My mom used to say when she was living, what don't break you or make you stronger. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. It's making you stronger. It may not feel like it because you're hurting so bad. Ooh, and you just, you just chasing you, you running them down and they keep rejecting you. But God is calling you away from that in the mighty name of Jesus. Guys, I'm going to stop right here. I'm going to end this. I pray and hope that this message be a blessing to someone. I don't know who you are, but I pray that this blessing be a blessing to someone. I got, don't, don't, don't cut off right away. Okay. I got some um, announcement brief, briefly to make. I just want to say thank you to, to, to all you guys that's given to the ministries, the donation. You know, I want to thank you guys, even the ones that, that are here and want to give and have not to give. You know, that that because it's, it's times are really hard. We're going through some really trying times right now. Some of you guys have lost jobs, loved ones. You're just really going through some of you financially, you know, really going through spiritual welfare at this time. But I want you to know that I'm standing in prayer, that I'm praying. I am reading uh, the emails and I'm praying over the emails. And I just want you guys to, to keep in mind that um, I I don't have the capacity right at rest, right as of now. To do phone calls, one-on-one -on -one phone calls right now. The Holy Spirit is only leading me to take in the prayer requests and pray of them. And I only respond to the emails that he leads me. The Holy Spirit leads me to respond to. Okay. And I want you guys to, to consider this. Try to make the emails just a little bit brief. Okay. Because I'm getting some like five and ten pages long and I got to download it to my phone. I can't do that. Okay. So I need you guys to try to at least sum it up. You know, you don't have to really go into details of everything. Because see, one thing about it, God know everything. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, you could put, if you want healing, you could put that. If you don't want to put that, you could just put your name. If you don't want to put your name, just say you need prayer because I go into the spirit anyway. And God already say he already know what we have need of before we even utter it. Okay. So I want you guys to know that I am standing in prayer for you. Okay. I am seeking the Lord on your behalf. OK, but also remember that God is calling you because I could pray, pray, pray. OK, but if your heart is not in the right place and you holding unforgiveness and malice in your heart, nothing is going to shift. I need you to understand this is so important that you understand that. OK, because so many, many of you are holding on to unforgiveness. OK, the things of the past, somebody hurt you, somebody offended you. You got to let that go. OK, we got to be able to forgive in order for God to forgive us so we can move on and have the fruit of the Lord. We want it all. We don't want to give God no excuse to hold back nothing from us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We got to be obedient to the voice of the Holy Spirit because he is speaking now. OK. OK. So God is waiting on you to to come to him for yourself. He wants you to start spending time and seeking him. And some of you guys are really doing it. Some of you guys are really, really laying before the Lord. OK. And God see that because one thing about it, I don't know all, but God know everything. Hallelujah. He know you. He know your heart. He created you. OK. I'm praying over these, these prayer requests, okay? 
And I'm trusting that God is going to move. That testimonies are going to be released in the mighty name of Jesus. I am going to release. I'm releasing right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose financial blessings right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I lose healing right now in the atmosphere right now in the mighty name of jesus father you said what i lose here on earth i'll be loosed in heaven hallelujah and i bound any demonic force that try to hinder and delay your blessings right now in the mighty name of jesus there will be no more delays no more denies somebody finna get a breakthrough catch that in the spirit right now in the mighty name of jesus catch it in the name of jesus i pray amen thank you father and I want to say, um, that's it, guys. I love you. I love you. I love you. God bless. Mwah.